Okay, so we're going to get to a very, very tense part of the challenge now, but we're going to tease you. We're going to ask you to hold off a little bit while we check out today's reviews. Do you find yourself looking jealously at people with decent gaming machines? Then you must be a Saturn owner. Don't worry, though, you've now got your very own Final Fantasy VII in the shape of Panzer Dragoon Saga. Panzer Dragoon RPG is an exceptionally good game. All right, it's not Final Fantasy VII. All right, it's not Zelda. But fair play, it's a good attempt all around. Yeah, the original was one of the most cinematic games ever to grace the Saturn, and it was only a matter of time before somebody came up with an adventure version. And this is really rather good. Panzer Dragoon RPG employs a classic Japanese RPG device, which basically means your character knows nothing about himself, his history, or his powers at the beginning of the story. The cutscenes are just so impressive and so emotive that um, you can't help but sit there and be instantly addicted and amazed. Even though it's something that the Japanese have a reputation for, it's difficult to tell a story well on a computer. This is done brilliantly. The cutscenes blend seamlessly with the action, and you really do feel very involved. So now, if you've got a Saturn right now, I mean, there aren't very many games out there to choose from. You might have steep slope sliders, which is all right. You might have this, that, or the other. The only game worth actually buying at the moment, in my opinion, would be Panzer Dragoon RPG. No two ways about it. Postal on the PC is one of a number of recent games that deliberately sets out simply to shock. It's a very childish thing to do and something we at Games Master would never consider. Okay, so the very thin plot here is basically you, you wake up in the morning one day and the whole entire town is trying to kill you. Um, so what do you do? You uh, go postal, which apparently is to lose your mind, pick up a shotgun and run around killing things. The gameplay is actually quite engrossing in the sense you do actually feel like you're trapped in this town with people trying to kill you on all sides. It's very violent, but at least it's convincing. At the moment, there's raging controversy about the issues of censorship and the nature and content of video games out there. There's stuff happening in Parliament at the moment being discussed. And what do they do? They bring out Postal, possibly one of the sickest and brutal games that I have ever actually come across. Having said that, the one thing it has got going for it is it's actually addictive and playable. There's no denying that Postal is a very playable game, but unfortunately it's entirely been made on the assumption that all PC gamers are antisocial, obnoxious little twerps who just want to kill people. Well, are you? Thank you. 